It's really hard for me to overemphasize just how important energy is. I use energy as my go-to concept when I meet any given problem. And until I see special cues in a problem, I'm probably going to work the problem with energy concepts. So for me, energy is an extremely important physics concept in terms of its ability to help me understand what's happening. In this problem, it's sort of like having a three-year-old at your house because it starts out nice and then you just get more and more questions. How much work do we do if we pull a greased 34 kilogram box full of cheese with a steady force of 50 newtons at an angle of 65 degrees above the floor and the box moves 10 meters? That's not so bad. Then they want to know about friction on the box. Then they want to know if it started from rest, how fast it's going. Then they want to know the coefficient of friction. Then they want to know the power that we're exerting. And they want to know what's in the box. So that'll be something. This next one is a simple problem in which you're comparing the, um, the kinetic energy of a Galapagos turtle with the kinetic energy of a mosquito and equating those. So that could be fun. Um, this one is about your mom and you should call her. Probably should call her now because there's no time like the present. And it's also about bungee jumping and the 1990s. So that's something. This next problem is about, um, uh, well, NASA. See, they like to launch stuff up into space, but the process of doing that is extremely energy consumptive. You have to take these tanks that on their own weigh 800 thousand kilograms <laughs> and that's when they're empty and then you have to fill them full of this solid rocket fuel and burn all of the fuel so all of that is consumed and then uh, you drop these things back to earth and this is approximately their terminal velocity as they're falling so um we're trying to figure out what happens to the energy because gravitational potential energy is um, going somewhere as they fall. That's a weird thing, like, um, like they're not speeding up, right? Where ordinarily things that fall tend to speed up. But this terminal velocity thing, uh, it's like a disease. And this next one is the one where I'm insulting you like it's a Thursday. Ha ha ha. But of course it's not, or is it? I don't know, check your calendar. We know two things. We know that work is force times distance, especially if your force is parallel to your distance, and we also know that the force of a spring is k times x. So it seems to me, if I take this and plug it into there, I'm pretty obviously going to find that the work to stretch a spring, which I presume is the energy stored in the spring, because energy, 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 uh, my conclusion, though, uh, should be that it's k times x squared, but it's not. Shinny told us that it's k times x squared times a half. So that's weird, and I think that you should work on explaining it with words, not just mathematics.